Hi everyone, I have been receiving requests to start with OpenSeas. OpenSeas is one of the most common softwares in uh, seismic and dynamic analysis when it comes in structure and geotechnical uh, application. A lot of researchers across the world, when, it, uh, when they start to re research doing like the finite element analysis for problems in structure and geotechnical uh, application, one of the most software that you can use is OpenSeas. The most eff uh, efficient thing about OpenSea is it's an open source where you can write your models or you can implement different constitutive models or create any element or material. It's very flexible and you can achieve all your goals uh, in, a, uh, in a very straightforward and efficient uh, way. Yet, if you are starting for the first time with OpenSea, it might be tedious because it's not very, uh, it's not very uh, typical like uh, other uh, software uh, such as like Plexis or Midas GTS X or Abacus or so on. Because in OpenSeas you have to write the model, and uh, this model then can be run through executor. So in order like to start with OpenSeas, you need a specific application to be uh, in your uh, system. And then there is a way to uh, do that. In this video uh, and this series of videos, we are going to take it step by step how can you uh, implement a, a model and how you can run it and how can you use all your computer capacities and use all the features from uh, OpenSeas. In this video specifically, it's gonna be like a start uh, with the software where you can download it. What other application do you need? What is the, how it look like and the interface of like the applications, and where you can find uh, the material and the examples that can help you build your model. So if we went to Google here, we start to write OpenSea. You're gonna find. If you write here open seeds, you're gonna go to Google and the first thing that comes to you is open seeds. If you look here in the first uh, page, you're gonna find there are different versions of open seeds. Open seeds 3.3, this is the last version which was released in 24th of May and there are other versions uh, has been developed we are just interested in the first version or the recent version which is open seas uh, binary they will ask you to write your email so you just write your email and submit and you can start to download that put it in your system somewhere maybe you can put it uh, like anywhere in your system maybe research we can just or I will want to put it here for example let's say open seas so I just gonna download that and I will go to see what's inside this folder so if we start to extract this folder we're gonna find inside it there are another uh, two folders one folder called pen one folder look library i am interested now at looking at the pen inside the pen there will be like openseas.exe uh, and this is uh, openseas in general you can see that this is the version it's from berkeley uh, university uh, or university of california berkeley and uh, like that said so what you have in front of you right now is just like a black screen so how can we start with that this black screen is similar to any console like where you can write some simple mathematical uh, equation so it requires using different uh, programming language there are different versions for the uh, uh, open seas you can write it either using a, 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 like a language called tcl and you also can use uh, python in this uh, series of uh, videos, we are just going to focus on the TCL. It's a very simple, straightforward, it's so easy to learn, and its application is simple. It still has some issues, we're going to speak about what is the issue that comes with the TCL language later, but here we are just going to look at this console right now, and if you want to say uh, expression, one plus one it's just gonna equal two so this is simple like the simple 
mathematical equation can be uh, done uh, here. So open C has been written with like uh, C plus language, and it can be uh, you can add to it since it's an open source. Let's go back here. What else do you need when you are starting with OpenSeas? You would need, the second thing is the file where you're gonna write. You, one of the most important, like famous uh, uh, software that you can use to write your model is uh, Notepad. Like here, Notepad++, you can just go here and start to download. There are different versions. You can just download one of them since I already have it, so I am not gonna download it. It's so simple to download. And once you have it, let's say you know it bad, it will look something like that. You can have different uh, models, like I already have some my, of my own model here. So, so this is for uh, this is like for the software. It has like some feature you can look into it and it's not gonna be that complicated if you want inside here you start uh, to see that you can add uh, your model using the TCL language we're gonna speak about like the feature of the TCL language in another uh, video here we are just for that I just want to share an important information here I have finished my PhD degree in two years and even I started with a different uh, program but I finished my six papers in almost like year and two or three months and I passed my PhD degree the reason for that is like how are you using the software and how can you use all the capability of the software and your uh, and your computer at the same time and uh, if you manage to manage both together you can like accelerate your work tremendously we will know in this series of videos how you can do that so if you are interested keep following me so now we are looking at uh, the uh, at the model let's go to see a simpler uh, model here if we went back here to open seeds here website you're gonna find something called open seeds wiki if you go to OpenSea's wiki, you're gonna find there are part for the developer and there is part for the user. We are just user here now, so this is what we are interested in. There are different documentations here. There are getting uh, getting start with uh, OpenSea's. This is where we give you like introduction. What is OpenSea's in general? So you can start to read what is OpenSea's and uh, you can download it and you can run open seas and you can see what is the model builder which defines the number of degrees of freedom and number uh, and the, the dimension and you can see the node command and the element for example if you want to define like a node you have to write the node in a specific code this is a code which is the node which is a class of node and it gives you like the number uh, of the node and then the coordinates. You can write node in 2D or 3D and we'll go through this later in detail. Same if you want to elements and record. If you want to like record here, it's like recording your output. Otherwise, you are not going to see anything. So record is one of the most important things that you need to know. Then later, you need like to look at different uh, things and uh, later, then we can look at the command uh, manual. Here there are like a common manual you can download it and uh, and you can start to look at all the, the details of how can you write a model then we can have here this is the Python scripting if you are interested in Python there are thermal and there are examples I'm interested at the moment in uh, the example so for the examples you're gonna find there are like application for geotechnical and for structure since I am uh, mainly ge uh, uh, like geotechnical I have combined geotechnical and structure together but let's focus at geotechnical at the moment if you want to download one of the models like laterally rooted file for foundation you're gonna find the explanation of the model in details uh, here how do they define it the steps and everything here is uh, explained in writing you can go through reading that and we can like study one of these examples 
later so i will go to download the file the file here there are like different files i'm just gonna download the zip file here and i will go to the software um, here i will extract that to here and if you open it you're gonna find there are some files inside all i need to do is just to bring them here and i go to open seas then and i put this file here in order like to run this model i will open one of this model just to see what's inside if you look inside here you can see this is the definition of the model the definition of the model starts with defining the geometry and the mesh creating the springs of the node soil properties and the spring material object and elements zero lens element will understand what zero is element and other components this is the records that we need to uh, that the number of nodes and the element and the like the record itself the stresses or the deformation and so on and this is the part of creating the analysis the integrator and the numbering and the system constraints and tests and algorithm and the analysis uh, type once we already know this stuff this file are also file associated with this file i will just copy this file here I will go here and I will just write source and control V I already write the name he will open this file and will start to run you can see here I'm running the model he's just creating lateral analysis and done if we log here we will find that there are output files for example, pile displacement. If I open pile displacement, you can see this like messy, um, ugly uh, files that I can't understand. We will later look into this in details and simplify it and learn how to handle this uh, using MATLAB, for example. And uh, it will be so easy. So, this is for this uh, part. So open seas in general, like uh, it's not like scary. You can like think that it's very hard, but once you master it, you will find that it's much faster to use it and more efficient uh, when it comes to uh, numerical uh, modeling and dynamic. Therefore, I really recommend if you are going to research to use uh, uh, for dynamic specifically and other applications also for like thermal and uh, you can be used also for like static uh, calculation. OpenSea is one of the most uh, feasible, like easy uh, and uh, like it could accelerate your work tremendously. So if you are going for research, for research and using OpenSea, this can be your source to learn about uh, the software and the language commons. So follow me for more videos about OpenSea. Thank you.